what's up guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mob XP farm so in survival mode and this is pretty easy so basically you're gonna have this dungeon here and obviously I don't have a real dungeon I could on it I could generate one in a world and locate it but honestly I don't really feel like that doing all this <laughs> never mind um so you have this so you're probably going to want to have a decent sized dungeon, which, if you're doing this in creative, but all, I'm pretty sure dungeon survival is the same. Anyway, so the things you're going to want for this video and to make this are, you're going to need soul sand, just one piece is literally fine. You're going to need lots of water blocks, which is just like... So, this is a solid water block, but everything coming off of it isn't. So, you're going to need basically a lot of those. So, yeah. Make sure you have that. And you're going to also need fences. Around seven of them. Fence gates. You're going to need seven fence gates. I'll just put the number in here. Uh, so what you want to do is you also want glowstone and there you go once you've done that um, pause the video get all your stuff um, and come back when you're ready so what you want to do when you have the items the glowstone put it around two blocks like that you want to put it all around and then you want to put fence gates right here Oh, right here, right here, and uh, pretty sure like that. So, oh, also right here. There. And then you want a trapdoor, and you can do any trapdoor. Then on the ceiling, you're going to need a waterlog trapdoor. So basically like this, this, make a little area for it, and then waterlog the trapdoor like this. There you go. So now when it opens, it'll flow down. Should go like this. Should stop. Also, you need to open the fences, but should go down like this and just stop right there that's that's good close it um and it should stop flowing there you go and then you'll need trip wires right here trip wire hook um and the best way to do this is to have a skeleton spawner if you don't have a skeleton spawner then you it is not required but skeletons give you the most loot and xp most helpful loot i should say with like arrows um so then you're gonna need some redstone dust and a trip wire put the trip wires one to the side of the waterlog trapdoor so like right here would be me and then you're gonna need some string for the trip wires right here oh you want to put it on the trip wire until it connects and these should move down when you move on them if that's if that's working so above the trip wire so like right here you're going to have cobblestone and then redstone connecting to the uh connecting to the trap door so when you walk over it it should open the trap door there you go good now, I have an open dungeon, so mobs aren't even going to spawn. Uh, I'll just close this top up, I guess. Um, so, once you have that, your glowstone should still be in there. Don't take it out, because then mobs will start spawning already, and that's not what you want. So, now, you want to add water to both the sides. And then over here at the way end, you want to have a four, like four like that. And then a little doorway. 
and you're still probably gonna have water running down make sure just to close it up like that so you should only have a one space Then you're gonna want to get a pressure plate. Any any pressure plate's fine. I would use stone to blend it, um, but you don't have to. So put the stone one from the end, and then wait. Oh yeah. Then put your soul sand, which I put in the chest, but you'll still have it. Put your soul sand here, and then make uh, walls around it if you're not already in a mine. So, I'm gonna mine and I'll see you guys when... Oh, oh, also you need a sign. I forgot. You'll need a sign down here. Just in case. So, you should have a sign there. And then you just want to have a closed up thing like this make a huge thing up should be 25 blocks so let me count these and I'll be right back when I'm 25 blocks upward alright guys so I'm 25 blocks upward and then what you wanna do is you wanna place water this is what I meant by like you need um, a ton of water cause you need to place it on every single block or else the um, the, the thing that's pushing you up will not work so you literally need like 25 water buckets. Oh, wait, this one. Or you'll just need to keep refilling your water bucket. So then you'll have this up top. So what should happen is the basics right now is they should spawn. They're going to come down here, wait here. And then once more come, they'll push them. Then they'll fly up. And then here comes the next part. Then you want to go back down here and you want to have a, a place where nobody can or only you can get to the skeletons should not be able to get there so say you're in a mine and like say this is just mining like just I mine down say I'm in a mine right now I can have a secret little staircase going to the back room which is gonna be for you know just be it just it's useful so once you're here Then you'll have a little backroom access that nobody can get to except for you. No skeletons or anything. No mob. And then you're going to want to place a torch in your room so mobs don't spawn in there. There you go. And then right here, you're going to need a few hoppers. But let me just get this set up first. You want to go up top. And what you want to do is actually place sides to this. Uh, place them back. Well, depending on which way you're going. So, And then right here, have two spaces over. Water on the top. And then it should start flowing down. But you want to place that there. And either... Actually, no. Just put a sign there. So once you put a sign there, um, they'll, the mobs will basically fly up come down and then they're gonna fall to the point where they take most of their hearts away once most of their hearts are gone where does it fall right here all right so anyways so basically you want to build a huge tower up that side right here and then you're gonna want to grab a chest, some hoppers, and a slab. Any slab is fine. So, right here, you're gonna sit here, and you can sit here all day, go AFK, and watch them drop. So, you're gonna want just a simple thing like that and now you can sit here while they drop you can hurt them and then under that slab you're gonna want a hopper 
and you can do this three out to avoid uh, to avoid them you know just being in the same area in general okay we can't do this side there we go so I guess just two under here you'll have chests which will be your loot chest so when they drop down um... they can take most of their hearts uh... mine still aren't spawning because i have the glowstone in there really this should be it though and you can uh, you're gonna be in a little area obviously i'm not So now you can destroy a glowstone. There may be some other things I forgot about, and I'll probably fix those. Alright, okay, so skeletons start spawning. I'm just gonna go to the room. So if they die, then you wanna make it so that they don't die, because. You don't want them to die or else you you won't get any XP for it or loot. Uh well they might they're going to drop their loot, but you're not going to get any XP for it, which is basically my main reason for having XP farms. <laughs> it's kind of oh, we did this wrong. Crap, I didn't I didn't know it was wasn't centered. Oh god. Well, it's basically the same thing. I mean, just, you you don't you wouldn't you know. I'm just stupid. I didn't know that it would do that. All right. So there we go. So oh yep. So they took most of their hearts, and then you can kill them. And then their loot should go in the chest. There you go. So you can sit back here. More will start to spawn and drop. But say you had a like diamond sword just sitting here. You could sit back in your little safe room. And as you can see, I literally just punched him. But once once there's a lot, you're gonna want a sword just so you can just like you know use the sweep attack. So look, there you go. It's just gonna go in there. So you can sit back, watch them fall, and keep hitting them. Um, and if you wanted, you could make an unbreaking sword and sit here with an auto clicker. Um, so if you had an auto clicker, you could keep getting AFK XP. Sitting here, you know, like open my auto clicker real quick. Uh, every and just so I don't run out of durability. Every one. Every two seconds, so uh wait. Yeah, okay. So then I could literally just go like this and then I forgot my auto clicker button, what was it? Uh start F six. Okay. So you could just click click F six. Oh, that didn't work. F six. Dude, why is it not working? <laughs> I'm like confused. I don't know if it's working or if it's just like. Anyway, you don't need to do that. You can you can get your auto clicker arranged. Oh, it is it is working. So yeah, it's just gonna. I'm not even clicking. It's just gonna click every few seconds, so you can gain up your attack. And eventually, there will be a lot of skeletons dropping down. I don't know why there's not actually not. I don't know why they're not dropping down right now. Uh, is it too? Oh, okay. I just came up or came down at the wrong time. So yeah, you can auto click here. Do whatever you want. Yeah, they're just gonna keep dropping down. So you can turn on your auto clicker and sit here. I'll go in uh, survival mode. 
Uh, so yeah, you'll see the levels. I'm already level 4 just from sitting here. I haven't done anything. I just created this world. So. I'll just see your XP go flying eventually. So the drop height is very specific for your mob. With zombies, I recommend 20 to 22. Zombies don't give nearly as much XP, but 20 to 22 is a good amount. So, as you can see, my XP is just rising. You could sit here AFK all night on your grind world getting a ton of XP. So, thank you guys for watching the video. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it helps a lot. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, I'm in survival <laughs> Uh, th yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video or if it helped, please leave a like because it helps me back. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.